The amount of people in the UK in insecure employment has rocketed in recent years. A new study by the TUC has found the North West is the second worst region for the amount of people in insecure jobs, with 47% of jobs created since 2011 being insecure. The nature of employment contracts and the way that people actually approach um, and businesses approach employing people because in many cases uh, they don't necessarily need that full-time employee for a particular project. So in many, many situations and many organisations they need a particular time delimited period where they need people but they don't necessarily want those people for a longer period of time. So, and there's other factors as well obviously but, but there's a number. Uh, I would perhaps for many reasons, I'd say technology has been a really significant influence on a number of these, uh, simply because of the way that it opens up the nature of work and the nature of some of the systems out there. With a high amount of people in low paid jobs, the debate on how to raise incomes in the UK has never been more fierce. At a discussion on how to raise incomes in Manchester, some are calling for a universal basic income, but not everyone is convinced that's a solution to the problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm not completely against it, nor am I enthusiastically for it. I think the argument needs to be made about making the economy more productive, generating more work. Um, the state has a role to play in that, but I don't think the state should have a role to play in attempting to manage the kinds of relationships that employers have with employees, or by necessarily imposing a basic income. It tends to kind of speak to a much, uh, a quite limited um, uh, set of ambitions in society. I think we should want more than that. I think you know we, we should be arguing for people earning h higher wages. As more and more people find themselves in insecure jobs of low incomes, the debates on the best way to deal with the changing job landscape will become more and more significant. Connor Griffiths, Keys News.